morning, guessers. Welcome back to the barn. As a lot of you know, I recently threw out my back, and a lot of it had to do with wood gas. Not the Seal Cove demonstration, but the Square Tail Brewing demonstration. I had this machine set up really, really badly, and it didn't dawn on me what I was doing. And it comes down to how much volume you have to pull through the gas cleaning system before you get a combustible ratio down here at the engine. Okay, the engine I'm running is 196 cc's. So if you start playing around with the math, and I'll give you an example. This is a common 12 ounce can of Coca-Cola. This thing holds 355 cc's of fluid. So if you think about that, it takes four engine revolutions to pull through, give or take, a Coke can of volume. And then you say, hmm, okay. So that means I've got this big filter and all the piping in back and my blue pool hose, which is about the diameter of a can of Coke. I got to keep pulling and pulling and spinning that engine and spinning the engine. Mosquito. Spinning that engine to pull enough gas volume through the system to get a combustible ratio at the engine. That's a lot of revolutions. That's a lot of pulling. And when you do a dozen, 16 restarts in a day, it gave me some really bad muscle fatigue. It threw my back out, and I was in a lot of pain for six weeks. So this video is going to be dedicated to making sure you guys don't go through the same thing, don't have the same moment of stupidity. Because I don't want to see anybody in that much pain. You know, especially because we have a gray hair epidemic in the wood gas community. So, let's see, how should we go about this? So I made some changes. Let's start off that way. What I did to fix the problem is I primed the pipe, primed the delivery pipe. Doesn't sound like rocket science, but hey, I'm not that bright. So, on my ejector, I took off the manometer and just got rid of it. What I did was I put on a gator lock coupling and a ball valve. And this just screws right into the side of the T. Doesn't really change a whole lot. I might have to bring the camera over so you can see this. But now, I take my gas hose off the engine. And I put it on this side of the ejector, something special happens. Okay? Let's say that you know you run this thing out of fuel and you've got to dump in chips and do a you know a raw fuel start with raw fuel below the nozzles. You don't want that to get to the engine. You certainly don't want that going to the final filter. So this way, if I close this ball valve and I turn the ejector on, the gas is going to come along this pathway over here to this T, it's going to come out and I'll eject the dirty tarry gases from a raw wood startup, can burn it off, get rid of it, no harm, no foul, and I'm not going to mess up my final filter. Okay, once I get a charcoal bed established, however, I don't want to jerk this thing time and time and time and time again to prime all of this volume needing to do eight engine revolutions to pull a coke can of volume forward. You know, that's a good way to hurt yourself. So now what I can do is if I close this ball valve, and open this ball valve, now what I'm doing is I'm drawing the gas through the final filter, through the outlet back here, through the hose, and to the flare. And I can flare my gas through the hose. Now that's a good thing. Once I get a nice blue flare and everything's happy, all I have to do 
put my hand over the fuel line because I'm full of hydrogen and carbon monoxide in the blue pool hose. I can bring it down here to the engine, flip it on. Now, with my mixer down here, and fuel all the way at the gator lock coupling, the only spinning I have to do is enough to pull up a carburetor full of wood gas. And that's like two revolutions. And I actually demonstrated that at the Seal Cove uh, Museum demo. So guys, think about this flow pattern. Think about priming your fuel system using your ejector, your fan, whatever you got. But fill up your gas line. Do not just try and pull through. This is a, especially a problem with small engines. You know, the 400cc, the 420, the 389s, they're not too bad. This little bitty engine, it's wonderful for fuel economy, but getting gas all the way through the system, you know, you can hurt yourself or you'll burn out your starter. So I hope this video has helped somebody. I hope it's helped somebody not get hurt. And uh, don't get a Darwin Award like I did. Thanks, guys. Talk to you later.